this is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can design this vector pie chart graphic using Inkscape. So let's go ahead and get started here in Inkscape. By the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and update its appearance with these customized icons, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do is set up our document for work. So we'll go to view, uh, make sure we have custom selected. We'll zoom in at one to one. And then we'll go to File, Document Properties, and we want to set the display units to PX. And I'm going to turn off the page border for this tutorial. And we'll go ahead and close out of this menu. And for this tutorial, we're going to want these, um, these uh, snapping options enabled. We'll want Snap to Cusp Nodes, we want that turned on. Snap to uh, Smooth Nodes, we want that turned on as well. And Snap to uh, Snap and Items Rotation Center. Turn that on as well. And then we'll open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button over here. We'll want Last Selected chosen from that drop down, And then we'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button there. So the first thing we're going to do is create a square. So let's come over to the Squares and Rectangles tool and hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that. And I'll go back to the Select tool. I'll bring the opacity of that down about in half. And we'll convert that to a path by going to Path, Object to Path. And now what I want to do is grab the Bezier pen, which is over here. Draw Bezier curves. Or you could press B on the keyboard to grab that. And I want to snap the cursor onto this bottom left corner right here and click. And then bring this line up to the top right corner and click. And then click and drag to create a line going around the outside of the shape and back to the starting point like that. And we'll go to the Select tool. Hold shift, click on the square, and go to path, difference. And then what I'll do now is I'll duplicate that by hitting control D on the keyboard, and I'll make that one red. And then I'll flip that vertically and horizontally, just like that. And now what I'll do is I'll click and drag over both of those, so we have them both selected. And click on the uh, rotation, uh, uh, click on the object again to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to hold control and grab these, uh, this bottom left uh, corner arrow over here and just rotate this counterclockwise. One, two, three. Three steps like that so that these flat edges are running vertically like that. And then click off of it to deselect everything. Now what I want to do is click and drag over both of these. Right click them and go to duplicate and then bring them over here and snap them onto these corners over here. But then we're gonna click on this again to get the rotation handles and hold control and rotate this around. One, two, three, four, five, six, six steps like that. And that's looking pretty good. What I'll do is I'll click and drag over all of this right here and duplicate that by hitting control D. And I'll flip this vertically and horizontally and then just take this and snap this over to this corner right here like that. So we end up with eight shapes, eight different shapes like that, alternating between black and red. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit by holding control and rolling down the mouse wheel. And I'll click and drag over all of those and just hold control and shift and scale them down a little bit. And I'll zoom back into 100% by pressing 1 on the keyboard. We want all of this fitting within our field of view here. So... Uh, once we've done that, I'll put that off to the side right there and click off of the graphic to deselect everything. I want to create a circle now, so we'll grab the Circles and Ellipses tool and hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. And I want to make that green, and I want to convert that to a path by going to Path, Object to Path. And then I want to go back to the Select tool, and I want to grab the object. I want to grab the circle near the center like that. And just click and drag to this over to the center of these objects until the center point of the circle snaps onto the uh, cuspinodes in the center of that object there, just like that. And then what I want to do is duplicate this circle by hitting Control D. And then hold Shift and click on that red object up here, or any one of the objects really, and go to Path, Intersection. And we want to do that going all the way around for the rest of these shapes. We want to click on the, ob click on the circle here. Duplicate, duplicate it by hitting Control D, then hold Shift, click on the shape, Path, Intersection. And before you do that, I probably should have mentioned, you want to make sure your circle is smaller than this set of objects right here. If when you placed your circle inside of there, if it ended up being bigger like that, or if it's like sticking out a little bit like that, you're going to want to go ahead and fix that by holding Control and Shift on the keyboard 
and clicking and dragging to scale it down like that so it fits inside of there. So make sure you do that before you do any intersections of those objects. So let me back up to where I previously was. And again, I'm going to click on the object, hit Control D, hold Shift, click on the shape, and go to Path Intersection. If you want a quick way of doing this, we could just use the keyboard shortcuts, click on the object, Control D, hold Shift, click on the objects, on the object, and uh, the keyboard shortcut for intersection is Control, Shift, and 8 on the keyboard. So I'm just going to go and do this real quick to the rest of these, duplicating and Control, Shift, 8. Until I get to the last one. And there we go like that. What I want to do now is take this green circle and hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this down to about here. And then I want to lower that to the bottom with this button over here that says lower selection to the bottom. And then I want to click and drag over everything so we have it all selected. And take this bottom arrow right here and just click and drag that up so we get like a flat disc sort of appearance from these shapes. And then what I'll do is I'll hold shift and click on the green circle to deselect it so we just have our shape selected. And what I want to do now is uh, I'm just going to hold control and move these down a little bit. I'm going to hold shift and click on this red shape right there to deselect that. And then just hold control and move these up to about here like that. And then I'll hold shift, click on that black shape next to the red one to deselect that. Hold control, click and drag these up to about here. I'm going to temporarily turn off snapping for this step. Uh, then I'll hold shift, click on this red shape to deselect that. Hold control, click and drag this up to about here. Hold shift, click that shape to deselect that. Hold control, click and drag this up to about here. And if you see where I'm going with this, I'm positioning all of these in different areas vertically so we end up with our different shapes there like that. So let me go back to this. Hold shift, click on that red shape to deselect that. Hold control, move this one up to about here. And then for this left half, I'm going to start moving back down. So I'll hold shift, click on this shape over here to deselect that. Hold control, move this down to about here. Hold shift, click on that red shape to deselect that. Hold control, move that down to about there. And that's pretty good right there. That uh, It looks like a disorganized mess, but it's all going to come together nicely. So what I'm going to do now is click and drag over everything so I have it all selected. Then hold shift and click on the green uh, ellipse to deselect that. And I want to take these all, all these little triangle pieces here and bring the opacity of them all the way up. And then click off of them to deselect everything. I'm going to start coloring these in now. So if you notice here, I went with red, green, blue, yellow, and all. You can use any colors you want, really. Just make sure they're all different. So I'll start with this one. I'll use like a, a shade of red over here. And then I went with green, blue, yellow. So I'll go back. I'll come over here. I'll pick a, I'll pick a shade of green. Maybe like that. No, nah, maybe more of like a lime green like that. There we go. That's good red, green, I'll make this one blue. I'll choose that shade. For this one, I'll choose yellow. For this one, I'll choose uh, like a violet or a purple. I'm using like dull earth tones for this. And um, over here, I went back to just using the original shades. So I went with red, green, and blue. So I'll just use that. I'll click that shape and just grab the dropper tool and just click on that red segment to grab that same shade. Go back to the select tool, take this shape, the dropper tool, select that, that shade of green. Go back to the select tool, take this final shape and go back to the dropper and just make that the same shade of blue like that. Let me just make sure I grab that correctly. There we go. And I'll go back to the select tool. I want to take this green ellipse right here and I just want to make this black so it stands out so it doesn't get in the way of the rest of these shapes here. And I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. That's good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn snapping back on. And I'm going to create vertical guides for each corner of these shapes here. So I'm going to come over here to the left side of the page where you see these little, uh, like these little um, increments of measurement. I'm going to click and drag out of there to pull out a vertical guide like that. And I'm just going to snap it onto this left corner right here. I'm going to pull out another guide. I want to create guides for each segment going through here. So uh, right here down the middle like that, 
and come over here uh, put one right there like that and then another one coming to the edge over here so it looks like we have one two three four five five guides in total don't worry about creating guides at like uh, every individual they're all lined up vertically so we only need five of them so that's that's good as that is let me zoom out a little bit so what I'll do now is I'm gonna grab the bezier pen and I'm going to click on this corner right here this blue shape then bring this line going down outside of this black ellipse down here and click and back over here and then click and then back up to the corner the right corner of that blue shape and then back to the starting point like that so we end up with that shape there and I want to grab the dropper and make that the same shade of blue this is but make this a little darker I'm gonna come over to the fill tab and under the HSL tab I'll take the uh, the L row and slide that to the left a little bit to make that darker actually you know what I'm gonna make that lighter I'll make that lighter so I'll slide that to the right a little bit and I want to get rid of that black outline by holding shift and clicking on this X down here at the bottom I'll go back to the select tool I'll lower this one step so it goes beneath the uh, the blue shape there and what I want to do now is go back to the uh, well I'm already on the select tool I'll click on this black ellipse and I'll duplicate that by hitting control D and I want to grab the bezier pen and snap to this side right here and click snap to this corner and click and then over here and then somewhere in the middle right there like that and then back to the starting point grab the select tool hold shift click on that black ellipse and go to path union and then I'll hold shift and click on this light blue shape right there and go to path intersection and that just ensures that our blue shape here takes the shape takes the form of this ellipse down here at the bottom which we want so what I'm gonna do now is the rest of this should be pretty easy I'm gonna grab the uh, bezier pen I'm gonna create a shape inside of here connecting the blue corners and the red corners like that and I'm gonna make that the same shade of blue this is by grabbing the uh, the uh, dropper tool clicking on that like that and I'll make this one a little darker by grabbing the L row and sliding that to the left a little bit then I'll hold shift click on the X to get rid of the outline and then you get the idea I'm gonna go up here and do the same thing to this green shape go back to the bezier pen create this shape going in here connect those corners together make this the same shade of green by using the dropper and I want to make this shade a little darker though so I'll slide the L row to the left a little bit hold shift click on the X to get rid of the stroke back to the bezier pen and we're gonna create another shape create, uh, connecting these corners together grab the uh, the dropper tool select that slide that to the left a little bit to make that darker hold shift click on the X to deselect it and let me go back to the uh, the bezier pen do the same thing over here actually you know what I'm gonna come down here to the left corner of this red shape and click snap this down here going outside of that black ellipse then back over here back up to the corner and over to the starting point grab the bezier pen which is I mean I'm, I'm sorry the dropper which is right here and use the same shade of dark red that we used previously get rid of the outline by holding shift and clicking on the X and I want to grab the select tool and lower that one step or another step two steps three there we go three times so it goes beneath this red shape right here and I'll grab this ellipse hit control D to duplicate it hold shift click on the uh, red shape there and go to path intersection so we end up with that there we're gonna do the same thing right here so we'll just go back to the bezier pen start at this corner go down here following this vertical guide over to this guide back up to the corner and back to the starting point grab the dropper make this the same shade of green but we're gonna use a lighter shade by coming over here and bring this to the right a little bit like that get rid of the outline by holding shift and clicking the X we'll go back to the select tool and lower this down a couple of steps one two three four we had to do four that time grab the select tool uh, I'm gonna click on this circle I mean this black ellipse control D to duplicate that hold shift click on the light green shape that we just created and go to path intersection uh, I don't quite like uh, how there's not much contrast between these two so I'm gonna make this green shape a little darker like that 
that looks a little better. And we want this green shape to match, so I'm going to click on that and just make sure that's the same shade. And now I actually have to go and make this shape a little darker as well. You can adjust the colors as you see fit once you're done creating everything. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this blue shape right here, and I want to duplicate that by hitting Control D. And then I want to flip that horizontally, and then hold Shift and click on this black ellipse and center it up. Not center it, align the right sides like that. And then what I'll do is I'll click off of it to deselect everything. And I'll take, I'll click on that blue shape and grab the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And I'm going to click and drag over all of the top nodes, all right? We want the top nodes selected. We don't want any of the bottom ones selected. If you accidentally select any of these bottom ones, just click off of it to deselect everything. And then click and drag to try again. We want all the top ones selected. And then I'm going to take this top left corner and just bring this down until it snaps onto the corner of this blue shape right there like that. I'll go back to the Select tool, lower that down one step, two steps, three, three steps until it goes beneath that blue shape there. And then we could take this black um, ellipse right here and just press Delete on the keyboard. We're done with that. We don't need that anymore. And what I'll do now is I'm just going to finish up the inside of these shapes. So I'll go back to the Bezier pen and create a shape connecting these corners right here. Just like that. Grab the dropper and make this the same shade of dark blue, maybe a little darker so it doesn't look too similar. Get rid of the outline by holding shift and clicking the X and this process should be um, pretty simple, self-explanatory. If you've done, if you've gotten to this point, you should be pretty much be able to get through the rest of this. So just go through and create these shapes right there. Grab the dropper. Same shade of yellow right there. I'm going to use this atro and slide that to the left a little bit. Make it more orange instead of going darker yellow. I just don't like how dark yellow looks. It starts to look like muddy and almost brownish. So I went with orange instead. Get rid of the outline. And finally, we can create one last shape connecting the purple and yellow corners together. And we'll grab the dropper. Make that a little darker like that. Uh, maybe a little... A little more. That looks pretty good. And we could hold shift and click on the X to deselect it. Go back to the select tool. And what we want to do now is let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything. We're, we'll get, we're going to get rid of these vertical guides uh, by going to view and where it says guides, just click on that to deselect it and they'll, they'll no longer be visible. Now we can click and drag over everything and group it together and hold control and shift and scale it down like that. So we end up with our little icon. And if you notice in the thumbnail, I put like a little reflection of it down here beneath it. If you'd like to do that yourself, uh, what you could do is you could just duplicate this whole shape by hitting Control D and bring the opacity of it down about in half, maybe to like to 40%. And just hold Control and click and drag down here, click and drag down about that far and lower that to the bottom underneath there. And I'm just going to zoom in on this by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. And I just want to take like this corner right here and snap it onto that corner, just like that. And uh, if you want to make that shadow a little longer, you can just ungroup them. You can ungroup everything. Let me bring the opacity down a little more. After ungrouping it, I'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. I'll click and drag over that node, then hold Shift and click and drag over that node. Still holding shift, clicking and dragging over all of these bottom nodes down here. We want those selected. And then we can just hold control and click and drag it down about that far. Or however far you think looks good. Go back to the select tool. Press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And as you'll see, we are finished. We have created our little pie chart icon using Inkscape. So uh, that's how you can create that. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.